In this movie, we're going to show how an route can be used to create output for a letter bending machine. And for this example, we're going to start off by just bringing in some text and we'll just do one, one or two letters here. And this is going to be the shapes that we're going to prepare for bending. Now we'll come here and maybe make the height of these 10 inches tall. And I can now center these in the plate or put them in the lower left hand position it doesn't really matter because for a letter bender you're just going to need the dxf files of the shapes there's no tool path or plate to worry about so now we're going to come down here to the text tool we're going to convert these to curves now curves are a nice way of defining text but they are not the type of output typically used for a cnc machine and that's going to be more lines and arcs now if we go here to point edit mode we can click on this and we can see that we've got mostly lines and curves here and as well we have some curves here what we're going to do is select everything go to the draw menu and do a cleanup a cleanup is going to convert the curves to lines and arcs so anything that was a curve is now going to be an arc and we can see here all the different points involved now if we want to have a little bit cleaner object still when we go to the cleanup tool we're going to choose a little higher value here and that's going to allow us to to make better effective use of of the arcs and so here we can see we have a cleaner shape and this will make it a little bit easier for a letter bender and then if you still want to edit the points if you think you can get rid of one more point here you just go and select it and delete it and the next closest shape will will be put in that area so using this method you can really reduce the number of, of points in the output and make sure that it's as clean as possible which will help with letter bending now to actually get the shapes ready to send to the letter bender we're just going to select them and we don't actually output these here we're going to go to the file menu and go to export and either use the simplified uh, dxf or legacy dxf which would be the best ones to use for letter bending machines and then we'll hit the save button you can mention whether you're doing the entire file or selected only and here we only want to do contours because that's all we're outputting there's no tool path on screen and that's it now we would take this file uh, the dxf file that was created and open it in the letter bending software